Hey, thanks for joining me today. This is Pastor Lafayette. We're in Psalm chapter 103. Got all the way through verse 1 yesterday, so we really did some awesome stuff. Because it's so long, I think I'm going to take and uh, treat this one a little differently and comment as we go. Verse 1, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. We talked about that yesterday. Verse 2, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Do you forget your ben the benefits that God gives you? I mean, I, are you someone who remembers, Lord, I want to thank you. <clears throat> uh, does it seem like coincidence to you or just, well, the way circumstances worked out? I'm going to tell you, you cannot go wrong in thanking God for everything good that happens in your life. Uh, whether it is just something that you supposedly happened or would have happened to the next guy as well as you who doesn't know the Lord, my advice for you as a pastor is to thank God for everything. Every good thing in your life, you need to tell him, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. You've helped me again. Do not forget his benefits. Also, when I look at that verse, and I'm just now reminded that forget not his benefits. A lot of times we will go through life not realizing that God would love to intervene and that God would love to help you and come to your rescue, but you've forgotten that he would even do it. And so because we forget his benefits, we don't ever depend on him. We don't draw on him. We draw upon our own, upon ourselves, upon our own resources. And God is not drawn upon because we've forgotten that, oh yeah, he'd love to take care of this for me. Oh yeah, I, that that's part of the promises. He wants to help me financially or, oh yeah, he wants to take care of my, you know, my kids or anything. I mean, don't forget his benefits. Number three, verse three, who forgives all your iniquities, heals all your diseases, not you know, th th these are first three verses, four, five. Just re read the next two verses. Who redeems your life from destruction, who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies, who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. This would be five, these would be five verses that would be great to have memorized or written down or somewhere in your uh, the first part of your Bible or on a little note card or something in your purse that you carry. Whenever you begin to feel like, man, life is getting difficult. I'm fighting some kind of sickness. I'm fighting some kind of issues. Pull that card out and read it. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. Uh, these are five pretty powerful verses. No, I mean, the Bible's filled with powerful verses. Gotcha. But these are five that you need to, it's, it's a song. It's a psalm. So, Make it something that you just say, Lord, forgive all my iniquities. I'm going to tell you something. When David wrote this, listen to me. When David wrote this, he might have had a shadow, maybe a glimpse. But when David wrote this, he had no idea the forgiveness that would be available to you and me in the New Covenant. He only had Old Covenant understanding forgives all your iniquities, my friend. <laughs> the Lord is good to you and me. Who heals all your diseases. Who heals all your diseases. Which disease doesn't fit underneath the title of all? He heals them all. Who heals all your diseases. Who forgives all your iniquities? Who redeems your life from destruction? Think about it. Who crowns you with loving kindness and tender mercies? Who satisfies your mouth with good things so that your youth is renewed? Think about that. Hey, listen, I, I could handle some renewed youth. I don't know about you guys, but uh, got a lot of snow on the roof, but I still want to be, uh, uh, <laughs> I still want to operate like a young person. But that's what he does. That's who God is. 
And I think that when you set yourself up to, to realize and recognize this is who God is, this is who my Father is, it changes things in your life. It changes things in your life so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. What an awesome God he is. What an awesome God we serve. I want you today to take just, you know, listen, you've got to take some time and just give him thanks. Bless the Lord. and Let him know that you believe in all that he is and you rely on him. Father, bless the hearers today. Let them experience you. Not your hand, not your voice, not your stare, your gaze, but you. You are our portion. You are the answer. We love you in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Thanks for joining me today. Bye-bye.